you were one of the first people who I've actually invited to uh, have a look at my book uh, and one of the first people who read it. Um, the book is called Finding Love, as, as many people know. Um, and how did you find it? Like, it was very random request. I realized that. Uh, thank you for taking time to read it. Uh, but um, Finding Love is, is a book that uh, was created to inspire others to find love within themselves so that they can create more love around them. How did you find the book? Be well, honest. Yeah, no, this is what I liked most about mm -hmm. it, that it talks about finding love towards yourself first because you can't expect other people to fix you or give you something that is missing in your world and when I read when I read the book um so basically the book came this year when I decided it's time yeah. for me to change my love situation I was so comfortable being single and not dealing with with the relationships or compromise or uh, kind of being open to other people, so to speak. Yeah. And the moment I decided, you know, I I'm ready. So your book came about. Wow! Do you have a copy there in front of you? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can it's you here. show everyone? Great! Yeah. Thank you so much. So, and it was a sign, you know, when when you make a decision mm. so you start getting the ways how to make your wish come true and it was important reminder to um, find a relationship with myself mm. and um, I was also talking to my friends I was so against all the online dating world and I just wanted it to happen you know you wake mm. up and you're in, in relationships yeah. and it, it, before that you need to have relationship with with yourself and yeah. so I started um, going on a date with myself where I was imagining this is how I want to spend my free time yeah. and understanding what is it that I want from relationship, how I want to show up in relationships. Yeah. And there are like various um, exercises inside yeah, groups that is very helpful. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm now actively dating. So from denying everything, from refusing to entertain the whole process. Yeah. So yeah. I'm moving a little bit uh, more awesome. towards you know, finding love. Mm. Um, but I think I found it towards myself. And it's it's a nice feeling when when you are able to finally accept you just the way you are. Yeah. Was that one of the key takeaways that came from the book? What were the main things Absolutely. That, it's, it's, that you've learned? It's about um, having a relationship with yourself and being clear what you want from your relationships because yeah. I I know for sure I'm happy to stay single till the end of my life and uh, rather than compromise on my values compromise on my happiness I want to find and I'm not saying that it means that the relationships will be easy or yeah, there is no compromise in in mm -hmm. small things but it's about finding the person that you feel um, aligned with like finding your person but in order to do so you need mm. to know who you are I saw a quote recently somewhere it I really liked it it was um it's not about finding the perfect person. It's about creating the right relationship. Mm. Right? And I think um, the book is also, my idea was that it acts as a reminder to people that they have 50% of the power in the relationship. Um, they are as powerful as the other person. It's not about that things happen to them in mm -hmm. relationships and in love life it's about feeling empowered to decide um you know who how do i want this relationship to be what do i want to experience 
How should this person um, support me in different things? What are my expectations from the relationship? And what can I give, right? How can I be of value to the other person? And so, and also I've heard another thing, which was like, it's about, it's not about finding the perfect person, it's, beco- it's about becoming the perfect partner. Mm. So it's like if everyone actually made a proactive effort to work on themselves, live more consciously, connect with themselves, with their true identity, um, we would all, all have a world of, of perfect partners' potentials, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's about starting from yourself understanding what happened i'm really happy to hear you enjoyed it um who would you recommend it to who would you recommend the book to well i i think it's like um somebody like me who decides that okay i'm i'm ready to explore relationships and i also saw like uh, people who are in relationship already because this book talks a lot about communicating your needs and it's about communication. So I think it's perfect partner is just kind of like the idea. It, it doesn't need to be perfect without the flaws. I, I think as long as we can communicate without um, accusing anyone or without making any assumptions, if we are clear of what is it that we want, and we can communicate it, and the other person can do the same, uh, we are golden. Yeah. It's also about, just one comment from me, I think it's also a lot with regards to building successful relationship and maintaining one. It's Mm. a lot about being curious about the needs of the other person. So not just focusing on yourself and what you need and why you need it and how can they give it to you instead understanding okay i i am this and this person is that and every time i say this that potentially triggers them how can we find a style of communication um and a way of showing each other empathy that will truly work for us so it's it's like this dance right coming together Mm. And you rightly said the book is a lot about communicating your needs because it's the communication that um, often gets broken first Mm -hmm. um, as a first step when things start going wrong. 